Hi guys, it's Vanessa here, and there's Sebastian. Well, here's me. <laughs> oh my, I don't know if my hair's a mess or not. Hold on, let me look in the window. Well, it doesn't look that bad. Well, here's what it looks like, and I've only washed my hair. Here we go. This is a good light. Wait, hold on. There, you can really see the bluish, it's like a bluish, it's like a dark blue, light blue, bluish tint. So you can really see it through, and I've only washed it a couple of times. Since my doctor, since I started uh, back on female hormones um, a couple of months back, this will be my fourth month coming up in October, I'm actually having um, less oil on my less oil on my face, less oil in my hair, so I can actually get away with um, washing my hair a couple of times a week. And when you color your, when you are using a semi-permanent like this, you don't want to just have it go down the drain, you know, all the time. So if I can get away with, and this is just, this is just, um, sh I just shampooed my hair last night. So you you want to use cool water, cool water, when you are um, doing your hair. And you want to use um, shampoo and conditioner, obviously, but very light rubbing. I'll do a whole video on, you know, the process and everything. But basically, I'm using the splat. And it, they only, I'm not using the splat. There's Sebastian, dog's eye view. Look at that handsome little man. Well, he's... Well, bigger boy. He's a big boy compared to my Maggie. But he's still a purebred Chihuahua. I got him from the shelter. The donation fee when he was a puppy was... All the puppies were $250. But he was 265 So I was just grateful that my husband had the money so we could get him. And at the time, there was another dog I was looking at. A really small Chihuahua and he was down in Ohio and he was like $800. I don't regret getting Sebastian because he really does fit in with our household and his personality um, but if I could have gotten like both of the dogs I would have been thrilled but if I would have gotten that other little dog I wouldn't have probably adopted him so you know, I say, I say it like, I say it like this. Things work out for, for a reason, the way they're supposed to. And he's, and so bad, you have grass on your face, little man. Um, he likes these little tiny, little cat balls. I can't find any more of them. It's so funny. He'll tear, he'll tear the hell out of some of the other toys, but certain ones like this and other little soft toys he has, well, that's not a soft toy, it's a rubber toy, but it's small. It's just making sure there's nothing in there, for God's sakes. I don't want some damn rat popping out. Take it back to the, I don't want something pop. There's a hole in there, and I don't want something popping out and basically... Basically, um, let's try to throw it in a different area, little man. There we go. So, today is Friday. And my husband says, two more days, Vanessa, two more days, and then he's off. He calls it, um, not since today is Friday... He's off on Saturday. Well, he's not off on Saturday. What I'm saying is, he actually, he actually is off. Um, he works today, 
We he he actually works um, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and that's one p.m. until tw until twelve at night. And uh, that's what he that's what he does. He does four days on and three days off, and he's a supervisor in the back. And you know he could easily become he can easily become a um, a uh, what do you call that? Um, oh, and here wait a minute. Here's his chuck it ball. They have or fetch it ball. No, no, it's, it's chuck it. That's what I thought. I'm trying to get in the light so you can see, but the sun and the angles of the trees and that's sort of fucking with seeing it. Hold on, Sebastian. I'm trying to show all my all my dear subscribers and friends the damn name on it. There we go. Wait. It's a chuck it. And you get an orange one and a blue one. And this is the smallest ones they have. And then they have bigger ones. And they actually have small little, um, they have some, these small little, uh, they, they have these small little, well, for every size, this small size, for every size, they basically have this little tiny, um, it looks like a long spoon to basically chuck it. Well, for God's sakes, I don't need to get one of those. Not, you know, it's not like I have fenced in my yard any further than what we've done so far. We do plan on um, calling and paying for a surveyor, a land surveyor, to come out from our area and county to officially survey our land because um, our land actually goes up there, up there. Our land goes like up there and up there and basically our land goes like all the way over to there. But we need to have our land professionally, um, professionally uh, surveyed. So when we do that, we'll have everything, um, everything surveyed. And what they do is they go around at every point of the yard and they put in rhubarb, if, or not rhubarb, I don't know what they, if that, am I saying it right? It's those metal, the pieces of metal, they put those down in and they have the name and the number or whatever, like a cap on it, and they're, they're hard to pull off, but... Whenever we are able to do this, we would instantly start putting in our fence. And I, we both know it's going to be, me and my husband both know, it's going to be an argument and a shit show with our neighbors because they're going to flip out that we decided to take the rest of our property. And we're not renters on their land. We are running to own from the people we're buying our house from. And we only have a couple more years. And then we'll own it. We'll actually own it. And there's. You know there's work that needs to be done. Like. Um, we would like to put in a two story add on. Right here. So basically. I would. I would say. Probably tear all this down. And rebuild it. And. My friend Melissa that I met down the street, well now she's up the street because she got a, she bought a nice, a nice house for like $40,000 and it's actually a really nice house and it's a, uh, it's a, um, what do you call it, uh, oh, it's a, it's a foreclosed home and, uh, it's a, it looks like somebody was living there, and whoever bought her house, either someone bought it, started fixing it up, ran out of money, or decided to back out of it, and then it went up for foreclosure, or or the people that had it 
started fixing it up and then they, you know, fixed up the kitchen and the dining room, you know, with appliances. There just wasn't a refrigerator or dishwasher. She has that now. And one of these days, I'll show you, one of these days, I'll actually, me and my friend Melissa will actually hang out and I'll record me and her hanging out and maybe doing nails. Because she has, she's really good at nail, doing the acrylic nails. And she's a lot better at it than me. Um, then again, she's had a lot more practice than me. I mean, I would say for her to go get her... I would say for her to go get her... You know, to go get her nail license because she's that good. She's that good. And she does her own nails and then she does her friend's nails and... You know, they give her a little, you know, they give her a couple of bucks. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know, doing someone's nails or doing someone's hair in your house. And, you know, your friends are normally your friends that you know. And there's nothing wrong with giving someone a couple of bucks for them doing um, hair or nails, you know. I'm good at coloring hair. And I'm slowly getting better at doing my acrylic nails it it just takes it just takes a lot of practice there's certain days that they they turn out amazing and then there's certain days where it's like you need to do it when you when you're working with acrylic you need to do it when you are having a really good day like my back my back can't be hurting and shit like the back of my the upper part of my back is pulled out, so I call it pulled out. But basically, since I've woke up today, my back of my shoulder is killing me. So, mm. I wanted to show you this. Last year, I got this little cup for five dollars, for five or six bucks. Well, I got it for like three bucks, but they still have these at Walmart. They have, I think they have a they have a they have a witch, they have a Dracula, they have a witch, they have a Dracula, and I think they have a mummy. And it says which way do the treats on both sides. It's a microwavable cup. And it says which way do the treats. And I just wanted to pull out and show you the cute little witch that um came with her, or came with the, the cute little witch that came with the cup. I think that's so cool how you got a cute little, how you get a cute little coffee cup or tea cup. I drink both, but I think that's so cute. And then you get a cute little witch. And my other friend, Melissa. Hi, Melissa, head... She is a friend of mine, and she's moved back to Kentucky, so she won't be in Florida dealing with a whole bunch of, uh, you know, storms and tornadoes and whatever the hell that they have down there, hurricanes. You know, it's just, it's just horrible the way, you know, the weather ends up happening. Oh, he thinks this is his toy. It's not. But my friend Melissa... If you watch back, and hi, Melissa. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Melissa Head. That's her name, obviously, on uh, Facebook. And I'm sharing her uh, um, Facebook uh, page. And um, she actually um, has a... YouTube channel, and I think it's called The Witch and the Angel or The Angel and the Witch. I think it's The Witch and the Angel or The Angel and the Witch. Try try one or the other, and then you will actually be able to find Melissa's um, website. And she's not, she's, not the, she's not the Melissa that I have up the road, my, my friend living close by. She's, she's my other friend. She's my other friend, Melissa. 
But she sent me, the reason why I'm mentioning her, because I just wanted to give her a shout out and say, Hey, girlfriend, love you. I know we haven't talked in forever. You're busy working. I'm busy doing my shit. But we'll talk whenever we talk. And it just ha it just happens, you know. People have their own lives. And, you know, it doesn't mean that you're not friends. It just means that you end up becoming busy. And the next thing you know, you haven't talked to someone in eight months. It just happens. But, uh... I still love you, honey. You know that. And uh, she sent me, look at the um, swap I did with Melissa on my channel. And you'll see that she sent me a little tiny witch. And it's so cute. I'm half tempted to buy an extra one. And it's $3. It's a little mini one. And I'm half tempted to buy another one on from Amazon. And it's it's the same line of those little tiny uh um voodoo voodoo dolls. It's that little line of voodoo dolls that they have. And um I'd like to try to there's Sebastian looking to come in. Come on, little man, come on. Come on, Sebastian. But I'm looking to, oh wait, i got to get his toys. I'm looking to um, collect all of those little tiny voodoo dolls because they're just so damn cute. But the one she gave me is looks like a, almost a carbon copy. Looks like a same, it looks like almost the same match for this one. Or to this one. So, I just wanted to show you these. And they have them at Walmart, guys. So, go go get your little witch cup. Which is really cute. And then, go get your little your little, um, little witch. She's really cute. But since she sort of hangs over like that, like that, looks like she's drunk. <laughs> she's had too many cocktails. But anyways, I just wanted to show you her... Um, before I end up, you know, putting her up on my uh, bookshelf with the other little witch that um, my friend Melissa sent me. And what I want to do, actually, is, like I said, buy an extra little witch and put it and basically hang it on my handbag. That's what I'd like to do. I'd like to hang it on my handbag. And I'm trying to not let his toys sit out here in the sun because the last thing I want is his toys getting faded. Just like a child, you know. Just he's just like a toddler. We took him on a we took him last time on a on a long trip. Well not on a long trip, but a long trip for a for us. We drive up to Washington, PA, and that's where I go see my doctor, my, my hormone doctor, Carol Priest, and uh, I'm just, I'm doing really well. I'm only on two milligrams of estrogen, I'm on two milligrams of estrogen a day, and that's, and my, my level, my levels are, my level for the, astro, my level for my estrogen is is actually 600 and my level of testosterone is actually my level for my testosterone is actually um, 9 so Carol told me my doctor Carol Priest she told me normally we would want you at a zero but your levels are perfect you know your the testosterone is kicked down by a medication. It's a water pill, but in male to female transgender women, the spirolactone, it's called aldactone, but the generic name, I think, is spirolactone. And that actual medication lowers the, the, just lowers the T. It lowers the testosterone in, in male to female transsexuals. And 
And um, so instead of being at zero, I'm at least at a nine, and that's damn near non-existent. And I was already having low testosterone problems about a year ago, and I was at 173 when my doctor tested me, and then when my uh, when my um, when I got when I first seen Carol, when she took my blood test for my testosterone, it was at 93. So I'm having really like. I just have like really bad low testosterone. And normally they would have me on either a either a injectable testosterone. If I was just a regular gay male, they would have me on injectable testosterone or the gel or the patch. But that stuff costs so much money. And my husband actually He's on, he's actually on injectable testosterone, not that he's transgendered or anything, but he has no hormones in his body at all. You know, and, and females, females have estrogen and a little bit of testosterone in them, if I'm not mistaken. And, of course, in males, you know, they have testosterone and a little bit of estrogen naturally in their body. And my husband was born. My husband was actually a. Oh, they're they're not they're not fighting, but they are playing. And she gets Maggie gets her toy, and basically gets him all wound up. But um. I didn't mean to just blabber on for 25 minutes. I just wanted to show my dogs to you and just let you see how I have it set up here. And I have my Christmas lights still up. And I still have them in the window. I'm like, fuck it, I'm keeping them up there. And I have the cute little Christmas ornaments hanging from ribbon. And then I just put these up. These are Christmas ornaments from Walmart and so are those and so are those and then there's a weird farm truck or something going up the road. I got these from the Dollar Tree and I love these. These are my favorite. Wait, where is it? Oh, these are my favorite, these ones. But I just made, I call these little doodads. I don't know. I just, little thing I made with crystals and beads and just a little, you know, I'd like a nicer one, but it's just a little cheap Dollar Tree. Um, cheaply made, of course, but I like it and it's not like I have the money to buy anything nicer, so... I have a couple of cheap um, dream catchers down here. So, we plan on possibly putting our kitchen in over here. Like from here to like there. From like here, from like to this window, like to that end right there. But me and my husband, well, my husband was talking, and he was, like, saying to me, in another video I made, I think, while we were cooking outside, um, I'll have to upload that video, um, he will actually, um, we're thinking about just basically taking the back porch balcony, and he's, you know, he's... We're thinking, it's a really good idea. We're going to redo the floor outside and put more support under the porch and more installation. And he's just going to block that in and put some windows in on that side. 
and some windows in on that other side and we're thinking about just taking down this main door and the screen door and having our kitchen out there. That would be super cool. And then this would just be an extra whatever. But everything takes money. And our main, our main goal is, is to, if we can't salvage, if we can't salvage the, if there is, if we can't salvage this, because of it being so old and just, you know, fallen out and decrepit. A one story, even if we put a one story on top of this, it's not going to work. Because it's too old and half-assed built. So there's a lot of stuff about our house that's half-assed built. So we're having to go through and just redo the whole damn thing. Mainly just, you know, we have to put in a whole new floor. You know, even if we do this, we have to put in a whole new floor in here. Redo the bathroom. You know, but if, we, if we're able to get the money together um, in, the, in the future, my dream and my husband's dream is to have move that switch and have a door going right through there and build a two build a two level build a two level add on on top of our garage so knock the garage down inside the garage is all the old wood wood and stuff from the house and it's it's loaded full of garbage so, basically, you know, have a contractor. My friend Melissa that lives up the street from me, her father is a, or her father-in-law, well, her husband's, her husband's father is a contractor. And he, he's done, he's doing an add-on, and he's almost done with his add-on onto his house, and he's work, he's going to be helping um, my friend Melissa and her husband um, do work around their house, I think. But I would have him look and see. But we probably are going to have to take down this whole, take away this whole um, mess in the garage and start from scratch, build a whole new garage. And you have to make sure that you put, you have to make sure that you put it the um, the concrete and whatever you're using for the joists and everything, they got to be below the freeze line, you know, because we get so much snow up here normally, living in PA, Pennsylvania. We get so much snow. And um, the last couple of winters haven't been that bad. Just, just cold. I, I think we're going to have a bad winter this year, but we have really good winter tires that we put on our our um, car. So, don't have to worry about that. Switch the summer tires off, which are all seasons. And then we have really meaty honking. Um, they're not that thick. They're, they're huge. But they're very meaty. Um tires for winter but our our dream is to tear this down have a new a new garage put in and have a two level add on and this is plenty of room and we would have our theater in here because we have a 300 inch screen that we pull down if you remember from my old channel um, we had that in our old living room but we couldn't we couldn't use the whole uh, we couldn't use the whole screen because you could only get so much um, be, you know with the projector because we didn't have the room. This would be plenty of room. You know we would have the screen there and that would be plenty of room and a couple of feet on each side and then have a bedroom on the second floor and have a bathroom in there 
That takes money. I'm hoping to God that we can do it someday. If not, then at least fix the garage. But that's that's one of our that's one of our many dreams. One of our many dreams, and I just hope to God that I get my disability back. In about a year, I'll have another court hearing. And over the next several months, I'll be working with my psychiatrist. Um, or I'll be, walk, I'll be, I'll be working with um, my doctor, Dennis Kreinbrook. He's, he's a licensed psychologist. And I'll be working with him. I want to make more detailed records, like everything that I have. Bipolar, PTSD, severe anxiety, you know, um, um, all, all of it. Panic attacks. The old term is multiple personalities. You know, I, I have, most of them are just fractures. So they're not totally personalities. Some of them are actual personalities. And that's totally different from me channeling a spirit or a dead loved one. It's totally different from psychic and mediumship work, for God's sakes. It's a mental illness. Not being psychic in a medium is not a mental illness, for God's sakes, but having multiple personalities is a mental illness. Well, I feel like I feel like we have to go so far into, um, you know, documenting each one, and then all the symptoms of each one that I have, and so on and so forth, and then talk about everything. That, that's going on in my life and because a lot of times I'm just depressed and I sleep a lot you know there's times I my husband leaves and I go to bed and that's horrible but you know fighting the last two and a half years with disability has made all of my mental health issues escalate times a million times a hundred I'm drinking some root beer from, I love the generic root beer. Well, it's not generic. It's just Walmart brand. 84 cents, caffeine free. I love um, Walmart's root beer. But I don't like, um, I don't like like generic cola though. If I'm drinking cola, it has to be like Pepsi, you know. Come on, Mags. But this is how we have it set up in here. Just set up in here like that. We got these two couches from Goodwill. 